Hi everyone, my name is Viv Simmons. Today I'm going to be taking you all through a swatch of our new options collection. So we have, or Accents Professional, have recently released a new collection called the Sydney Collection. And um, it's basically, this collection was inspired by the iconic tones of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which is pretty cool because that's where I'm from. Well, actually, I'm not from Sydney. I'm from Melbourne, but Australia is my home and um, Sydney is one of our biggest states. So I'm super thrilled to be bringing you this swatch. Uh, a little bit about our options collections, just for those who are not familiar with options. Options come in a pot. So they're highly pigmented, they're creamy, um, they apply beautifully. So just to give you a little bit of background on options, options have a core range. We have um, products that you may be familiar with, crystal clear, we have options pink, we have options clear, which is one of the original ones. Um, we have OptiBond, which is a prep product. So um, it's a full soak off range which means that the colors as well as the core products can be soaked off. Um, all of our colors um, in the options, and sorry, and the core, are 100% gel. They are HEMA free. They are manufactured in Canada. Um, what else can I tell you? They're solvent free, they're cruelty free, and they're self-leveling. And they're highly pigmented, if I didn't mention that. I'm not sure if I did. So, um, they're a beautiful, beautiful um, product to work with. Basically, when applying, you only need the tiniest amount. So you just dip the end of your brush in and that will cover an entire nail. So it's applied sparingly. It's not applied as you would, um, say, a Luxio polish, where you're kind of floating the color over the top. With options, you brush it over the over the um, nail um, one coat will be like a little bit translucent um, but by the second coat you get the full coverage um, the full opacity and the true color will come through and it's beautiful um, very easy to use cures in 30 seconds in an LED um, two minutes in a UV so that's a little bit about that. Um, what I'm going to be doing is walking you through the three new colors that have just been released by Accents. Okay, so now to show you the actual colors. Um, the first color I'm going to be showing you on the video is our Sunset Pink. So I've got my pot right here. Um, sunset Pink, it's kind of, I would say, a medium tone. So it's not light and it's not dark. Um, it's sort of in the middle there. So we would say Malcolm in the middle. Um, it's basically like a kind of almost like a, um, a dusky pink, um, really beautiful color, soft, but yet strong, if that makes any sense at all. Um, applied the first coat, slightly translucent, but by the second coat, um, and applied thin, um, you'll see the true colour come through and it's um, it's quite a strong colour even though it's not a dark colour. So really beautiful. Just waiting for the video. And the second colour um, I have in front of me is Minty Whisper. So this colour, this colour is like a green um, with a with quite a strong undertone of yellow. Um, through it. So I would say that this is bordering more on a, like a muted pastel, more on a light color. So it's like a, yeah, as I said, like a muted pastel. Um, again, you know, two thin coats um, where you're only just dipping the tip of your brush in and applying it as a brush stroke. Um, so, you know, not floating. Um, this color, again, first coat, slightly translucent, second coat, really solid. Um, and you know, quite a strong color, even though it's light, um, beautiful color. So these cure in 30 seconds in an LED and two minutes in a UV. 
And the third one that I'm going to show you is called Golden Tan. So this is probably going to be my next color. Um, how do I describe this? It's kind of like a milk chocolate, but then when I look at it on the tips, like in here, it looks like a milk chocolate. Um, but when I look at it on the tips, I would say it's like a, almost like a cafe, you know, latte or um, a caramel latte, you know, something along those lines. Anyway, it has got like a little bit of a khaki undertone, very, very slight. Um, but, you know, it, it's, I would say a medium tone again. So it's not super light, but it's not dark. Um, so yeah, it will be in that mid range. Um, beautiful color, very unusual. So one of the things I love about this collection is their unique colors. Um, and together they look amazing. So, um, together or apart either way. So now I'm going to take you through to the swatching. Okay. So swatching sunset pink. Um, this, as I said, um, applies very thin. So, um, obviously I'm using a little bit more product because I'm working on a tip. Um, tips are wider, longer than a natural nail would generally be. Um, so you may need a little bit more product, but you only really need to dip in the very ends of the brush, um, to be able to get the coverage over an entire nail. So it's not like floating. Um, you're basically brushing it. So a nice even coat over the first, um, well, for your first coat. And then I'm using my line of light just to make sure that there's, you know, a good coverage over the entire nail. Then we'll pop it in and cure it for 30 seconds because I'm using a hybrid to cure. So I only need a 30 second cure, which is an LED light. As you can see from the second coat, um, the color is really starting to come through. So basically, um, as I explained previously, um, the first coat is slightly translucent. The second coat will show its true color and you can just see it's, it's, you know, a solid opaque finish. Um, so again, I'm using my line of light just to check the surface of the nail to make sure that I've covered every area, that there's no, um, you know, streaking or whatever which you won't get with this because what you do also is you allow it a couple of seconds and it will self level. So before I put it in the lamp, I always give it a couple of seconds to self level. Um, now I'm applying a coat of shine on, on one of the tips that I've done and a coat of matte on, on the other tip. So what I want to show you is the difference between the matte finish and the shine finish. So they look amazing. They look totally different. Um, the two, you know, finishes, and I think it's important to show both of them. So I'll apply a coat of each. We put it in to cure for 30 seconds. Um, and very soon you're going to see the results. So with matte on, um, also just as a reminder, it isn't a tack free, um, finish. So you will need to remove the dispersion layer or the sticky layer or the tacky layer, whatever, however you refer to it, um, with a lint free pad and some prep and wipe. Um, what else can I tell you? I think that that's pretty much it. So I'm going to pop this in, cure that for the 30 seconds. Uh, and now I'm removing the tacky layer from the mat on and we'll show you the end result between the two um, finishes. So you'll find that, you know, the matte will have a slightly different, um, kind of color, you know, to it because, you know, obviously different finish, but yeah, still really beautiful. Okay. So the next one that I'm showing you is, um, Minty Whisper. So again, application super thin. Um, I always start a little bit back from the cuticle, on a tip, it's hard to show, but just so that you don't go and dump a lot of product, you know, the, the main product that you've got on your brush, right smack in the cuticle area, it's best to start it a little bit further down the nail so that, um, you don't flood the cuticle. So again, nice, even strokes over the entire nail tip. And then prior to curing, 
give it a couple of seconds to self level and it will, it will um, smooth out beautifully and do all the work for you. So here's my pause before curing. Probably a few seconds, more than a few seconds. And then into cure. Okay, so we're applying the second coat. So again, you can see just how much I pick up on a brush, but that's to cover a tip. So um, if you're covering a natural nail, I would halve that. Uh, you can see how solid the color is coming up on the second coat. You can also see from the way I'm applying it, just how creamy this, um, this color is, or this, this product is. So options is beautiful to apply. It's super easy. And it's pretty much faultless. Um, you can apply it, you know, just, oh, what is, what's the word I'm looking for? You just apply it and it just works for you. Um, there's not much more I can add to that. Um, so I'm allowing a few seconds to self level and then in for the cure. I'm again going to finish this in the matte on and the shine on to show you the different effects of both. And for the end result, here is the matte finish and the high shine finish, the shine on finish. So really beautiful. So the last one is golden tan. Um, so we're going to apply the first coat and again, you're going to see that this one's probably a little bit more solid in color. Um, I suppose being a slightly darker shade, but it is still translucent. So it just applies smoothly and beautifully. We'll give that a couple of seconds to self level and then in for the first cure. The second coat, you can see how much I'm picking up. And there you go. There's the true color coming through. So it's very deceiving um, on the first coat because you think, hmm, this is not what I thought I was gonna get. But by the time you get to your second coat, you will get your true color um, come through. And it's, you know, it's worth the wait for that second coat. A little bit different than applying Luxio. So with Luxio, you'll definitely get the color or majority of the time you get the color coming through on the first coat, but with options, it's a little bit different. So um, applying the shine on and the matte on and curing, and here's the end result. So I'm just removing the tacky layer. And you're gonna see the matte finish and the high shine shine finish high shine finish and there you go so that's our new sydney collection i hope you've enjoyed this um swatch and we look forward to bringing you more bye for now